Hey everyone, welcome back to our goody two shoes let's play of Dark Souls. So last time we actually got through most of the catacombs. You can still see Wast Isolate from here. Now we'll rest up and we'll actually reverse our hoeing. Now we have no humanity. That's right, because we lost it to the skeleton dogs. Okay then. We'll use a humanity. Here. I remember having like three soft humanities, should have used them, but no problem. Hopefully the dogs uh, don't kill us now. Like if I remember correctly, we can actually uh, like skip the dogs maybe. Like let's actually try it. So this dog will probably chase us, so we'll be uh, kind of fast over here. We have three dogs over here, if we can skip them, go over here. You don't have to fight them, they don't uh, protect anything actually. Yeah, here's that dog that that is chasing us and the skeleton oh actually here's the dog what oh that's not good yeah damn that was a very agile dog he actually managed to walk on those uh, like uh, narrow ledges Okay then, I guess we'll try to kill him. Reverse our hoeing again. But yeah, this is actually the last dog that we need to fight. We don't need to fight those three uh, there that I uh, told you. Come on dude. Okay, one more time. Oh. Oh, he actually fell down. Okay, awesome. So now we'll go down. We got the white tight knight chunk here. I actually hear uh, like the big skeleton. Yeah. He's also uh, chasing us. Usually that doesn't happen. You can just run past. Yeah. And he also fell down, awesome. So yeah, you don't need to fight these guys. There are three there, just skip them. And yeah, this item we were about to get. Let's get our souls. Just so, no problem. And over here we have a ladder, it's not high, you can just fall down. And over here you no longer need a uh, white source. Here it's actually lit up. And from here we can see another zone of the game that we haven't actually gone to. But we will. And here we have Paladin Leroy, who is invading us. So we ha will have to be careful. He is uh, really uh, kind of strong with his big hammer. And he does do uh, like uh, divine damage. So that's why some of the damage goes through our shield. He can heal, so let's follow in his example. Ooh, damn. Yeah. He wants to heal again. Let's just not let him heal as much. Okay, we managed to dodge that. And he is really well. 
But so are we. Okay, there's the chance. Here we go. 21,000 souls, that's really super many. And he does give us humanity, of course. And he does give us uh, his uh, giant mace and his shield. Like, uh, the shield Sanctus, actually. Uh, it is uh, it's a crystal lizard. We probably aren't gonna get it. Yeah. So, uh, Sanctus is actually part of uh, like a contest, a shield contest that uh, the developers from software usually make for their games. I think it, uh, there was a contest for Demon Souls, there was a contest for Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2 and so on. So this is the shield that actually uh, won the contest for Dark Souls 1. Uh, it is a really good shield actually, I really like it. But it has a 95% uh, physical reduction. But it does give you like an aura, if you can see, that gradually regenerates your HP. It isn't very much, but it's kind of cool. And the shield looks awesome. So yeah, we have uh, these guys over here. No need to deal with them. Ooh, and yeah, you can see how much damage they do. So over here we'll actually have one popping out behind us. And one in front of us. Okay, we dealt with that one, there's the one behind us. So we actually need to go right ahead. This one pops down and we need to run. Here because you could see uh, on the left there, there was a skeleton. He was about to kick us off from the ledge. And if we go over here, we have a solar hero. And in this place we have a lot of uh, pinwheels, like the same as the boss, and we also have tiny skeletons. Yeah, we can actually farm those pinwheels for uh, the masks if we want more masks. We can also farm the little skeletons for. Uh, Humanity, there are a good source of it. Whoop. Oh damn. Yeah, the, the skeletons can uh, inflict uh, toxic, I think. And here we have another soul hero. And this is actually the boss door. So, we'll actually enter, we'll try to fight the boss here. We will take uh, a lot of damage by falling down, but we'll see actually how this will go. We can use uh, the divine weapon over here, because this boss does revive some skeletons that are in there. So we may use it for a, for a while. So, let's try this. So this is Grave War Nito, 
Oran. And yeah, he does this attack when he doesn't see you. And again, managed to dodge it this time. These are the skeletons. Okay, we backstab one, that's good. Can I actually backstab another one? Oh damn, no. Okay, we'll actually probably die over here. Oh damn, this attack. Oh, we actually dodged it again, that's awesome. And yeah, the boss killed us. So he's actually not that hard, like the skeletons that are around uh, actually make him hard. So we're back here, we'll need to fight that bone dog again, hopefully he doesn't kill us. Or we can actually make a run for it, so why not. Let's run these guys. Okay, fall down here, kind of a shortcut, and we are out. Okay, we don't need to fight Leroy, we already defeated him, we can actually get the, whoa, this lizard now, okay, we got him, Twinkling Tight Knight. We will need to fight these guys though. Okay, let's uh, do some damage. Whoa. Okay. Oh, he dropped a white titan chunk. And now we'll have one from the back also. Oh, damn. Managed to get hit. So let's drink. And now here's the place where we need to run for it. Okay. We won't deal with uh, the pinwheels over here. We'll just go straight to the boss. Just go in. And there we go. So we'll actually go with the club again. And we aren't gonna watch the cutscene. Drink. If he sees us, he does that uh, screaming attack. Uh, not that much. So I actually again want to deal with the skeletons here. Okay, here's one. They die from one jumping attack, I guess. So let's. Uh, okay. Okay. There we go. Drink. Change weapons. And now we are like only against him. Let's actually enchant. We do have time for that. He's really slow. And this is like the only attack that we need to be careful of. Yeah, we need to actually block it. Hopefully he doesn't spam it. He does have a grab attack also. Here's that attack again. Yeah, it does have a really, really long range and I don't actually want to go uh, really far. Come on, why aren't we hitting him? Hit him. What? I have no idea what's happening. Okay, drink. Okay, 
Okay, now try to hit him. Okay, here we go. Here's that attack again. We'll actually... Yeah, next time we'll have to go far away from him because we don't have any Estus. And here's this attack. Okay, I didn't manage to dodge it. Okay. Hit him. Okay. Yeah, do sword attacks, dude. Don't do any other attacks, please. Sword attacks, that's it. Awesome. Right. If we manage to kill him now, I'll be very surprised. Okay, this attack, no problem. Hit him some more. And there we go. We actually managed to kill him. That's awesome. So that was Grave Ward Nido. He did give us a Ward Soul. Humanity. And uh, how many souls? 60,000. So in that time I could have equipped the Silver Serpent Ring. Man, I want this item. Guess not. Ah. Village body, okay. Red and white shield. And over here, actually, we did kill uh, Paladin Leroy. And from over here, we can get his uh, armor set. The Paladin set, it's really heavy. But it does look cool. And... This place should be familiar to you. We uh, went over here while we were in the catacombs. This is actually his altar. But uh, now we get to fight him and we can't use uh, his covenant anymore in this playthrough. And uh, if you actually start running around uh, in his boss room while you are, you are fighting him, here are some giant skeletons. You will run uh, to them and they kind of make things a little more complicated for you. So that's why I stayed mostly in the beginning of the boss room. And a bonfire appears over here. We can rest at it. And we can actually warp out of here. We don't have any more business in the catacombs or in the tomb of giants. So we'll go back to our filing shrine. Here we are, we're back. We can actually equip our own helmet. We don't need the sun white maggot anymore. And we can also uh, get rid of this thing, we can equip either our bow or our uh, talisman. I'll actually equip the bow for now. And we can equip, I'm guessing like uh, the wolf ring. Yeah, we have a fast roll so that's good. So let's rest. And this will be all for today guys, stay tuned.